<laughs> There's one thing that's always certain is that no matter where I go, somehow I always find myself ending up in Rosemount. But with a name like the Wandering Yuki then, it always makes sense to return to Rosemount anyways. So everyone, welcome to another vacation wandering edition of the Wandering Yuki Chiefs Cafe. So my vacation's uh, slowly starting to come to a close, so I'm probably going to be winding down a little bit. As much as I enjoyed what I did, I always feel like I wish I had an extra week off or so, just to do the things I enjoy the most, but such is life. Can't really uh, complain about that, I suppose, because I did uh, get quite a bit done. My Mount Royal walk alone was worth the price. And before we continue on, if you wanted to like what you see, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, because I'm always putting new content together, and subscribe means you'll get updates whenever I post a new video. So for my destination now, I'm now on Plaza St. Joubert Street. Well, I'm on St. Joubert Street and I'm going to look through the plaza once again. And I'm going to make my way to Rosemount to the east to get to Jatinsky's Deli. That's one area that, if you don't recall, click on the link on the top right corner to see my first uh, wander around. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show off was that deli. The only issue is that on a Saturday, they close at 2 o'clock and I got there a little bit late. So I'm hoping I could get there, show off a few goodies, and we'll see what happens. But first, I know there's some equipment here. There's some uh, electronic shops. I want to look into that for this camera, and I'll get to that in a second. Huh. Mile End Kicks. I guess that's supposed to imply there's a shoe store, or it's trying to tell you that Mile End Kicks something. If I like kick something, then I think they forgot to finish their sentence. Because now it's going to be left a mystery for me. <laughs> okay. Alright, that might be a lot better. Alright, so... If you recall my video when I was work walking up along Mount Royal, you might have remembered that there was a lot of noise, wind, and a lot of inconsistencies with the mic on this uh, thing. The reason being is that when I wanted to do HD stuff, the microphone on this camera doesn't seem to be working as well, so it was making it very finicky at times. So the trick that I had to do was actually get an external mic. Now, this is going to get a little technical too, so bear with me. Most microphones that I needed for this camera said that they're only going to work if they have a power source. So that means that it would have to be plugged into something like an outlet for electricity, USB or whatever. But the other solution is, I need to get one that actually has a battery attached to it, so then it's going to power the mic and allow me to be able to speak clearly without having to get all the interference on here. So I think I've got my solution. So going forward, not only am I going to get some better video, but then my quality audio is going to be improved. And now, well, first thing I'm going to say is I'm going to give a hat tip to Lozo. It's a nice uh, camera store here that's around the plaza, and they deal with a lot of specialty stuff too, whether if you're a DIYer or you actually look for a more professional type of product. So I'm going to give a kudos to them. And on that note, time to continue my journey to Jatinsky's and see what other stuff I can talk about along the way again. First, I need some coffee. And yeah, there's a McDonald's coming up very soon, but for all I care, they can just... Pokemon card store. People still collect these things. Apparently, if you still have them, they could be worth a fortune. You never know. Ooh. And I guess this is kind of neat, too. If you're really into medieval uh, dress wear, medieval costumes, and there's actually a shop that sells this kind of stuff, too. You can rock out like you're living in the 1600s. Or pretend that you're Count Dracula and you're ready to wait for against all humanity. <laughs> Ooh. Now, here's another anime or slash otaku kind of store. We've got here another place that sells these figurines. I do have a shop close to my house that sells these things too. I'm thinking maybe one day I should do a highlight of that as well. You know, show it off for good times. Oh boy. And we seem to have some kind of a pork store. You can never have too much salty pig. Oh, <laughs>
Amboise, Saint Amboise. Translation to Saint Amboise Parish. Okay, bad joke coming up ahead, people. So, this is called Saint Amboise. A little bit like the brewer that you find around the Lachine Canal, or what you get in stores. So what does this imply that if you want to come here for Saint Amboise and be blessed by holy water or blessed by the gods and where you will see them? I mean, we've got the Bokia Aki de Nalves, the legendary bear juice, so like to call it. So what better way to make it even better than call it holy legendary bear juice? Hmm, you'll be a hero of the ages. Take me back to last August when I did the walk and passed by this Depana, which, you know, it's a regular Depana, and it is what it is. They say that they have 300 microbrews in here, and I did make that joke the last time saying that if you wanted a pilgrimage to get some beers, and this is one of those places that you could call El Goddamn Dorado. used to drive from the Jacques Cartier Bridge up to Delorme and then eventually Belshaft so it was actually a two-way street. Now it's a one-way street for the bike path. I wonder if it's actually going to be used. Who knows? Another thing from all the walks I've done in Rosemount uh, in the last little couple of months is microbrewery stuff. You know me, you follow my channel, you know I like craft beer. The only thing too is you gotta go to a lot of the major stores and sometimes fruit stores for that. But I've seen that around this neck of the woods, you actually have little shops that are devoted entirely to microbreweries and wines. In fact, I'm right by one over here too. And I stopped by here a while back, it's called the City Deck. And the beauty is that sometimes what I've heard about these places is that they can actually get exclusive deals from the brewers themselves. That means they might be able to have open beer. I'm going to my mouth for a second. The beauty is that when you have these deals with the uh, suppliers themselves, you might be able to get some stock and brews that you wouldn't necessarily find anywhere else. So it's almost like you're going on a treasure hunt for this. Basically, it's like an adult candy store. And no, I don't mean adult in that way. Get your minds out of the gutter. Mine's already there for us. And in fact, since I have some time to kill before I get to Jatinsky, maybe I'll stop in here and get a little treasure trove. Whether I show it to you now or not later, that will wait to see. Oh yeah, gotta give my uh, respect to Chez Clemenceau. It's a nice, cozy, almost European-style market that I uh, discovered a while back. Small selection, but what they do have is amazing. And my main draw too was, yes, microbrews. So, spoiler alert, I did walk out of Sip Pet and get a little bit of a haul for myself. And hat tip to them because they're very knowledgeable over there. They were able to give me a few suggestions, especially when I was saying I'm specifically looking for things I couldn't find in my neck of the woods. And show me 
brand new ones that they have exclusive deals with, so I'm pretty happy. Depending on the time of day, I may either show my haul when I get home, or I'll just put it on the YouTube channel as a separate entry later on. Ooh, now this is always another place that caught my eye. Sommage a de Sev, or I think, or de Sev, yeah, something like that. Another cute bakery, again. But I'm on Bold Yane Street, you know, good, good street. In case uh, you need a reminder. And I always find that there's a lot of these like, cute little shops. You want something that's like within walking distance in the neighborhood? There's no shortage of them. And you get into another pretty neat spot that I might have highlighted, but it's always worth uh, highlighting again. Molson Park. It's a bit small, you got a couple of big people here, but a lot of people gathering. It's not like a musician's plane, but also what I noticed over the winter is that there was actually a skating rink there. It's like a pretty long one along the path. It's definitely a fun one. Some good, some bad. 
has been open for like, how much did I say? 20 years, I would say? Really good homemade potato donuts. Why do I have the park taken? Alright, I'm getting close to my destination now. Okay, so I'm now right in front of the Finchers Valley. Now, your rule of thumb if everyone that comes here is going to get some good food, your best to come on a Thursday, Friday, and or Saturday. Saturday up until 2 p.m. I short hours. But this is Thursday is when they get the new orders in for food. So, you're going to be well stopped around that time. And obviously, if you're coming here for Easter and Christmas, you're always best to order in advance because everyone's going to be wanting that stuff for the holidays. So yeah, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to say hi to Angel Shapinski, the owner. I mentioned before, but she's known me since I was about to high, so it's always fun to see what kind of man I do. It's always fun to say hi to once again. So stay tuned, and we'll see what we're up to. send my uh, compliments to them again because I'm never disappointed. This is one of, honestly, this is one of those reasons for me that it's always a pleasure to come back into Rosemount to get some of these goodies and to say hi to Angel. And for myself, I got a little treat. I got myself a little bit of a smoky sandwich with some melted cheese because, you know, it is a cheese cafe, so you gotta have some kind of cheese over there, either figuratively or literally. Now, I'm just gonna find a good spot to eat this thing, maybe show it off, and I don't know. I'm walking the east along Bogey Street, and we'll take it from there. As a matter of fact, I might have a really nice park that I could eat it at. Okay, now this is uh, pretty creative. What you can do with an old church that isn't used anymore, you can convert it into a senior residence. They've also built a lot more condos around the region too. Part for the course. Everyone's building condos these days. Hmm. I'm outside of the Parc Etienne des Marteaux here. It's a pretty nice lookout of right above on the mountain, but there is some stairs there. And remnants of snow and ice that's gonna make it complicated. My hope is that I'm gonna be able to find some benches up there and make it worthwhile. But first, before I can start eating my sandwich, I've got to work my way up there. I need some good motivational music to do this. <laughs> okay, that works. There. Here we are. There's barely a stair here. It's like a slow. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. I do I say that I'm, something's making me look bad on camera, but this is my own doing. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I'm at the top, almost there. Ooh, benches, jackpot. 
beautiful. Yep, you get a nice lookout from around here of the entire street. Funny, I pass by the street so often. It's only recently coming up here. Lovely view. Yeah, and I'm pretty close to the sun up here. It is 13 degrees as I'm recording this right now. A really warm St. Paddy's Day. It's, uh, you can, I can walk around in like a light jacket, stylish hat. I'm too sexy for my scarf, which everyone already knows. So we're going to be doing this. And, uh, okay, since I'm up at the top, let's do this joke. made my way up here, found a nice clean bench, good view of the neighborhood, and I'm about to chow down on my sandwich. So, you know when you think of your smoked meat, you obviously think of like your bed of any smoked meat that they cut really thick, and then you get it soggy on the top and on the bottom because you got mustard on one side and probably grease on the other side of the bread. This one is nice, done on like a, an egg bread. Basically what they do is that they take egg, incorporate it into the dough for the bread, and then they bake it like that. It's obviously going to be mustard on it because how, <coughs> how can you do like a smoky sandwich without mustard? But the beauty of it is that they also put a slice of melted cheese in there for some added flavor. So this is my smoky sandwich. Good stuff, really tasty, and I'm going to devour this for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. Yep. The things we do the miles that we travel for a delicious sandwich. Can't be helped, can it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And because I have some beers in here too. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything like that. Some people will like over the summer probably drink a six pack in the park with some friends. That can be fun, but then there's something kind of depressing for me drinking alone in the park. And again, I don't want to get arrested. I have a good reputation. Awesome. Well, one tasty sandwich I had. Nice warm day to enjoy it and sit outside, which is something I'm really looking forward to, which also means that I'm going to be able to whip out the barbecue sooner or later for some more charred goodness. It's been a nice day. Perfect warm, perfect visit. Got to say hi to Angel Chikinski once again and show off the story I've been talking about for so much. Now, what I think I'm going to do is, well, some of these goodies I need to bring home. So I'm just going to find one last coffee to get myself, make my way there, and then just try to take advantage of the sunlight that's still here, which will be here for a little bit. So then on that note, I hope you enjoyed this latest edition of the Warner Yuki Cheese Cafe. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my antics. And of course, leave a comment if you have an idea for a future episode for me, because I'm always down for it. Peace, everyone, and happy sunny St. Patrick's Day. Well, a and has a dollar coffee, but I don't know if it's actually going to taste like coffee or just a better co coffee flavor piss. Wait, what am I talking about? Screw it, there's a better coffee shop there. Ciao.